Hello students, in this video we are going to study about the significance of green chemistry. How green chemistry as a topic or as a concept is so important to build sustainable living for the entire globe. Let us see that in detail. industry releases about 5 billion tons of chemical waste annually to the environment. That means the entire environment is affected by the chemical industry. Now what do we mean by the chemical industry? It means that any industry which uses chemicals and makes products. All of these products which are formed also form certain kinds of byproducts which are known as waste. And this waste is about 5 billion tons in an year. It also spends over 300 billion dollars annually for treatment, control and disposal of the chemicals. That means that after all the production has been done, there are companies who are ready to pay and are already paying at millions and millions of rupees so that all the byproducts which are being formed the byproducts will be kept in such a way that they do not affect the environment now these byproducts are very important because because of these byproducts the entire cost system is getting affected because of this byproducts, the entire environmental system is getting affected and degraded. So if we use the concept of green chemistry, we will not have to worry about the byproducts because green chemistry focuses on zero or minimum byproducts. If we have zero byproducts or minimum amount of byproducts, then we will not have to treat those byproducts at all. And since we will not have to treat the byproducts at all, it will be nicer to use that particular amount in developing more profits for a company. This poses formidable challenges for chemists and chemical engineers to review the design, manufacture and use and then further accomplish improvements or change in the design of the new products. What do we mean by this? It is trying to say that all the chemical engineers and all the chemists need to first review the design and review the entire manufacturing process and also review the use of it. And once that is done properly, only after that they can actually help to make sure that the products are being processed properly. This entire process is important. And because of this entire process, the significance of green chemistry increases. The innovation in technology must be planned and implemented in such a way that they are sustaining both economically and environmentally. Economy and environment should go hand in hand. They should create certain processes, certain technologies, certain methods and certain procedures which will help the entire in chemical industry to not only prosper and flourish economically but also prosper and flourish when it comes to the environmental level of it. From the standpoint of environmental protection, many industrial sectors have made significant studies in reducing emission. Now one of the most important waste is the wastage in the form of emissions. What is emissions? Emission is nothing but release of different gases such as carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide. All these gases are not good for the environment and because of that such gases should not be released. And that is the reason why many chemical industries have tried to make sure that they will reduce the particular emission of certain gases like these ones yes even with these improvements the impact of industrial processing use and disposal of chemicals on environmental is staggering there are so many different ways 
and so many different methods which have been employed by many people but even after doing that there are so many yet problems when it comes to emission when it comes to making sure that the environment is not being affected even though the entire chemist community the entire chemical engineers as well as the production the manufacturers are trying their level best to make sure that they do not affect the environment even after that environment is being affected to a great great level the environmental protection in many countries was based on promulgation of statutes and regulation and implementing them using command and control approach so now many a times we don't even realize how much environment is being impacted or how much the entire society is being affected by a particular gas emission unless there are certain monuments certain statues or certain other infrastructures which start showing up which start changing the colors or changing the dynamics with the effect of what is happening in the chemical industry or the amount of emissions which are being taken out and once people start realizing it noticing it then they can put different measures of controlling the same in order to implement the environmental mandates industries had to install a variety of waste handling treatment control and disposal systems which require new equipments with high capital costs to save the environment they had to make sure that all the emissions all the hazardous resources all the different kinds of components which are not useful should be taken out in such a way that they do not affect the environment and to do so all the industries had to implement certain machinery certain chemical resources and certain ways of making sure that refined emissions come out and to do so they had to implement good amount of costs on a societal level this means increase in the price of the consumer goods so if we are going to buy a plastic container the plastic container the cost price of the plastic container can be 2 rupees but now the company is also paying for different machineries which are just helping the environment getting cleaner so it increases the cost price to 3 rupees and now on this 3 rupees they will put their margin and their profits thus we as the consumers or we as the customers are paying more than what we are supposed to pay we are also paying for that by product management we are also paying in a way that their by products are being managed and the environment does not get affected thus it is not only affecting the environment but also the societies further the true cost of the environmental impact due to manufacture and processing use and disposal have not been fully incorporated into the price of the goods produced that means there are still after doing so many things there are still certain ways and certain things which cannot work well and because of that the environment is still being degraded the environment is still being infected and impacted and we still are paying the price of the environmental degradation through various various ways these costs include site remediation ecosystem destruction and healthcare now there are so many people whose healthcare has been affected there are many whose the entire ecosystem has been distracted and these are the general cost which the entire society is being paying it is precisely in this context that green chemistry provides the best opportunity for manufacturers processors and users of chemicals to carry out their work in the most economically and environmental beneficial way it is important to understand that because of all of this because there are so many different contexts so many different costs and such harmful impact on the environment and the society it is necessary for all of us to go and take the concept of green chemistry and try and start working on it many countries have been contemplating 
to levy environmental tax on industries towards payment of environmental impacts ostensibly caused because of their operations many countries are now going to make sure that the environment does not get affected and if the environment is getting affected that particular company will pay a huge cost of it so now how are they going to afford all of this they are going to afford all of this by levying an environmental tax so because the companies will be scared of paying that particular environmental tax the companies will make sure that that particular tax will not be levied and they'll try using the concept of green chemistry by using the principle of green chemistry in the design and manufacture of chemical products and processes many industries in the world have been successful in lowering the overall cost associated with environmental safety and health so if the companies start using the concept of green chemistry they start working on green chemistry right from the starting then they will make sure that they will not have to pay any taxes they will not have to use any machineries the cost price will decrease and overall it will be much more impactful environmental expenditures are now being thought of as the cost of doing business it is important for us to understand that if we are going to impact the environment we cannot get away with that we will have to bear the cost in the form of finance there will be financial costs which will take place the finance of a particular company will get affected the cost price of the product will get affected the entire structure of the system will get affected even the consumers paying for it will get affected and the workers working for that company will be affected with respect to money first the companies were just used to make their products and throw away the waste not caring for the environment but now because of these taxes and now because of stricter rules the companies will have to pay up all the environmental damage as well and because of that all the entrepreneurs will have to make a point that they do not affect the environment they take care of the environment as good as they are taking care of their own company because if they are not taking care of the environment they are going to pay a price and that price will be a monetary price which is going to affect the company's financial system green chemistry is already demonstrating the potential and promise to develop new techniques and methodologies to enable industries to pursue the traditional innovations and at the same time minimizing environmental impacts so here is the solution the solution to all of this is green chemistry green chemistry is the concept which gives us and which makes sure that this entire concept runs very well that means when they demonstrate a promise of developing new techniques and methodologies what are we going to do over here is we are not only going to help get changes into the environment but also help get changes into the company itself there are so many companies which will benefit on from the most basic level just by changing the ways and methodologies which they used to use before we can pursue the traditional methodologies but we need to have new innovations and these innovations will help us minimizing the environmental impact it will help us minimizing the overall impact which takes place of course there is a lot of potential in it but there also has to be a separate study done by each and every company on how to implement green chemistry for their particular company it will not only help them change their company profit and monetize their company's profits but also they will help them to bring out a good environmental impact the only problem is that the entrepreneurs are not ready to shift to newer methodologies because they are resisting change and once they start seeing the effect of the change and once they start using and applying it they will understand that it is better for everyone including themselves and their institutions the funds which they might have to pay towards environmental tax as and when levied 
may now be diverted for research and development efforts. See, anyway, the entrepreneur has to pay money. The entrepreneur either has to pay money as environmental tax or the entrepreneur can actually use that money for research and development and save the company as well as the environment, which is better. The entrepreneur himself has to choose. The companies have to choose. They have to make a choice and they have to make a wise decision of choosing the research and development on how to apply the concepts of green chemistry of their own company. Green chemistry is very subjective and it is very relative. That means I could apply certain concepts for my company and someone else could use certain different concepts for their own. But the motto or the motive of all companies should be to have a greener environment with the concept of green chemistry. So now this is the significance of green chemistry. This is how important green chemistry is. And if this is taken lightly by the entrepreneurs or by different people who think that doing it the traditional way with the traditional methodologies, processes and procedures would be fine for them are mistaken because they will anyway have to pay the environmental tax which will be levied every now and then. It is not a one-time tax. It comes as and when it has been affecting or impacting the environment. Thus, we see the importance of green chemistry and its significance. Thank you.